Okay, good morning. This is Sunday morning devotion and my name is Valerie Pruitt. I'm a poet. I'm an author of the book, I Fit in Nowhere, which is available on Amazon and I'm a missionary. And today I want to give you a word to encourage your heart from Wise Choice Ministries. You know, I woke up all sort of doozy, so my brain's not all together yet. But, you know, the words that was speaking in my heart, the message is very simple. It's simply God has no stepchildren. God has no stepchildren. He has no outside children that he doesn't consider. You know, I don't know if you've ever felt like a stepchild, like someone who is on the outside looking in, you know, the sort of Cinderella story. If you're familiar with tales in Cinderella story, it happened that her father remarried and his, the stepmother had several children. I think there were three of them, but they never liked Cinderella. So they always had her out working in what they call the coal pits. Always dirty, never getting feeding her enough. She always had to do all the housework and everything else. Never got invited to the parties, never got to be part of anything. And that's the Cinderella story. And sometimes we feel like that. We feel sort of left out. We feel a sort of lost. We feel a bit lonely. We feel that no one knows your name. And you know, there's a story in the scriptures in First Samuel 16, where it ha this sort of situation also occurred. And in this story, it was about a man called Jesse, and he had eight sons. And now a famous prophet was coming to his house and the prophet wanted to bless one of the children and make them special. And Jesse called seven of his sons. Remember, he had eight. He only called seven of them. And so the prophet said to him, he said, are these all your sons? And Jesse said, no, I've got another one, but he's in the field. He's in the field. That one, he didn't consider him sufficiently to want to call and send for him. But the prophet Samuel said, send for him. And this is a message to you today. If you feel cast out, if you feel on the edges, on the fringes, and you feel that you're not accepted, I want you to know that God is saying, send for him. God is sending for you. I want you to know God has no stepchildren. You know, people may have left you out. People may do all sorts of things because people just do. But God considers you precious. There's a scripture in Isaiah chapter 63, verse 16. It says, Doubtless you are our father, though Abraham be ignorant of us, and Israel acknowledge us not, yet thou art our father, our redeemer. And First John 3, verse 2, it says, Beloved, and that's you, beloved, well loved. Now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. So this week, if you're in the fringes looking in, if you're feeling left out, if you're feeling lost, if you feel like perhaps you have no earthly parents, perhaps you're grieving over something, I want you to remember that you are beloved. Now are you the sons of God, and God has no stepchildren. You are precious. You are not an outside child. You are a child of his heart. So be encouraged and be strengthened as you go about this week, remembering you are loved.